Hello and welcome to more gaming. I'm your host Joe Zamora here, and I am bringing you episode two of Pokemon Conquest. All right, guys. If y'all remember last time, we took over the castle of Ignis, and now Kaiji here is gonna teach us how to catch a Pokemon, or you know, recruit people to our army. Hey there, you two. Oh, that's right. I was going to teach you how to make new allies. Well, it's pretty easy. Not all warriors are part of an army, you see. There are plenty of free warriors around, as well as ones that are unattached. For example, um, ah, I know. Go and have a look in that cave. There's probably one or two in there. Start by seeing if you can recruit them. Hmm, me? Nah, I'm a bit of a free spirit. So I'm not keen on staying in one place for too long. And, anyways, I've got some things I need to buy in the shop. See you later, Joe. He's gone. Where did he tell us to go again? The cave, was it? Yeah, it was the cave. Let's go ahead and see if we can recruit this Charmander. Let's go! Ominous. Alright, so let's see. Charmander's way the hell over there. Lord Joe, it looks like there's some warriors in here. So, you want me to join you, eh? Well, you're going to have to show me what you can do first. Defeat this warrior within four turns. I think we can do that. Alright, Eevee goes here. Jigglypuffs goes there. Enemies turn! Swiftly and accurate. Alright. So it looks like we are in range. Alright, we get our potion here. Okay, top speed. We don't need to increase our... What you call it. Our range, because we're already there. But we can go ahead and attack this Charmander here. Gives us a good hit, and we're going to take it out here with a quick attack. Should do enough damage, and we do. Charmander goes down. I can't even hope to live up to your excellence. I surrender. Victory! So, we got... We leveling up, and we got a new recruit. Oh, excuse me. Oh my god. Don't drink soda and, stream and record, guys. Select the warrior you wish to recruit. Trying to. Did I accidentally click something? Okay, here we go. Alright. Takatora. Yes, we're going to recruit Takatora. And I have a list here to show me everyone's perfect link. So let me look for Takatora. So, real quick. You have my thanks. I shall serve you faithfully. Let me see who your perfect link is, Takatora. Uh, there we go. Lamp, uh, sorry, not Lampant. Well, I guess Lampant. But yeah, the Litwick line is its best. So we're going to for sure keep it here in this area. So Ignis. All right. Takatora. Alright, so basically, if you de defeat the enemy in four turns, you will have it have them want to join your army. Hold on a second. Our army is growing nicely. I think things are looking up, Lord Joe. <laughs> Feeling pretty happy with yourself, huh? Oh, you again. I hope you're not resting your laurel on your laurels again just because you've conquered Ignis. Huh? <gasps> because Aurora is surrounded by other kingdoms. And there's still Greenleaf and Fontaine, too. Fontaine. You know, the warriors of Ignis, they mostly use fire-type Pokemon, right? Strong against grass, weak against water. Heh, <laughs> everybody knows that, of course. Anyway... I hear that if you, I hear that the Warlord of Greenleaf uses Grass type Pokemon. What are you talking about? I don't understand any of this. 
you know, I don't think the warlords of either Greenleaf or Fontaine have any interest in trying to conquer other kingdoms. I reckon now's your chance to make a move. Come on, we don't have time to stand around here chatting. We've got to get to the Ponagiri shop and increase our Pokemon's energy. It sounds like there's just no way of avoiding battle. All warriors have finished. Do you wish to proceed? Yep. I do, I do, I do. Alright. You are not able to challenge the war warlords of Greenleaf and Fontaine to battle. The more kingdoms you conquer, the more places you'll be able to travel to. You'll meet new Pokemon too. And each kingdom will have all sorts of interesting new locations to visit. Select a castle belonging to Joe Army to send your commanding warriors to. Okay, yeah, we can move our warriors between things and everything. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and see what's in here. All right, there's two wild Pokemon. I mean, yeah, two wild Pokemon. Neither is a perfect link. And there is, I mean, not much we can do other than this. But we don't want to leave a castle empty, so I'm going to go ahead and march Takatora for right now. Over here. And go ahead and take on this, these enemies here with this team. So let's go. I'll show you what I'm made of. Alright. So we can... Come over here. Oh, I don't want to be in range. Okay. So we shouldn't be in range. So let's go ahead and come this way. Gain that potion. Because we're going to need it in this battle. There's a lot of enemies. Excuse me. Alright, so there's a wild Tepig who's actually stronger than the enemy's Tepig. Darumaka. Alright, let's go ahead and take... Let's go ahead and hit this Bidoof. Alright, Bidoof gets hit pretty well. And let's go ahead and see if how badly we mess up this Tepig. All right, not bad for the first hit. We got all five of hits in. All right, so Bidoof gets out of the way of Darumaka. That Tepig kind of sits in the middle. Okay, interesting. Both of the enemies that have Pokemon choose to avoid battle this turn. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this Darumaka. Because we got to try to knock one of these out. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the Daramaka again with Jigglypuff. So the next hit pretty much knocks it out. Alright, enemy's turn. What will they do? Okay, so they decide to sit and chill in the magma. Which is good for us. So we go ahead and take out their Pokemon. Oh, but Jigglypuff flinches. Alright. No burn, so we're good there. Jigglypuff flinched, so we can't hit it there, but we can take out this Darumaka at least. Alright. Rikyu. Raikyu? Raikyu? Oh, we got you. We knocked you down. And let's go ahead and take out this Tepig at the same time. And we do! You're, you're so strong. You're so good. I definitely can't can't beat beat you what are you Jimmy Jimmer oh beating up my Pokemon I don't appreciate it okay so we get hit again by that freaking Tepig now we're gonna teach it a lesson and hopefully Jigglypuff can take out this Bidoof here four hits come on two 
three. One more. Yeah! Took out that Bidoof. That's what he gets for being a punk. All right, we take another Ember attack, and we're fine. Five turns left, but we already took out the other enemies, so we're pretty good. And we're going to go ahead and hit this Tepig. Ooh, it lives on two. Oh, that's, that's fucking whack. But it's clearly not going to go down on this next hit, so let's at least get the item. Ooh, and I got a critical hit and a burn. That sucks for us. All right, we're not going to use that, but we will hit. All right, no, 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 Let's see. All right, it only heals. It doesn't uh, get rid of the burn. So we're just going to go ahead and go out for the attack. Oh, and we miss, of course. So, our Eevee is not in a good spot right here. But as long as Jigglypuff doesn't get burned, I think we'll be okay. Alright, 12 damage is better than 11. Oh, but we got 11 anyway. That sucks. Let's go ahead and see if we can not get 5 hits here. 3? Come on. Two, one more. Yeah. Oh, and it lived. All five hits, and it still lived. And it chooses to sit there. And we're gonna go ahead and, and try to give Jigglypuff the kill. Let's go. Ahead, let's see if it doesn't miss. Yep, it missed. Well, we tried. All right. Quick attack goes off, and Tepic goes down. We are victorious. All right, so now we have two more people to look up. Okay, Riku, I already found, which is pretty quick and easy. He's an Ignis, but he needs to go to Greenleaf. Because he needs to be... He needs to get a Pan Sage. He's good with fire types and grass types, but his link, his perfect link is with uh, Pan Sage. But uh, let's go ahead and recruit both. And then let's look for Hideaki. Sounds like Teriyaki. Hideaki, where are you at? You shy looking motherfucker. Okay, let's see. Dun, dun, ding, dun, 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 dun. All right, we found him. And he's going to be chilling in Ignis. But he needs to go to the Venom place. So he can get uh, a Venipede. Maybe he can find it in the Bug place. I don't know. But I know for sure in the Poison place he'll be able to find that. But we will take both for now. And obviously we'll link them up later. Once we get that far anyway. And if this is your first time watching a Pokemon Conquest game. Eventually you unlock the rest of the map. But right now we're at the tutorial stage still pretty much. And we are working our way over there. Slowly but surely. <clears throat> And then uh, we're just going to have this guy. We can't delegate yet. But I guess we can train here. Let's do this. Right. Let's go. Let's get going. All right. Charmander. One of my, well, yeah, my favorite Pokemon line. I was going to say one of, but it's actually the favorite all right, so we're going to stay out of range of that thing. We're going to go ahead and hit that tree with the number. Let's get the item. Hell yeah, potions. 
potion for days. All right, now that thing is in range. Let's go ahead and go for a flamethrower. Get the burn. Nope. It's okay. We'll get the burn eventually. But we got to remember to get this guy a Litwick. I'm sure I could get it on the next next time over. 14 damage again. Down goes Minchino. He missed his attack on us. And we're doing a good job. Sorry, guys. Oh boy, I'm gassy. Let's go ahead and see how much damage we do, and we take this thing out with one hit. Charmander's gonna get some pretty good uh, link percentage here. Being the only Pokemon in the fight, and taking down two Pokemon. Alright, the Warriors have finished. Move to the next month. So we do. Let's see what Pokemon are here. So all there is right now is a Bidoof. So I guess what we can do is come over here and just all out attack Greenleaf. Alright. You know what? Let's see if there's any Pokemon trainers to get here. No. Okay. Yeah, let's just go ahead and all out attack Greenleaf. So the Warlord of Greenleaf uses Grass Pokemon. That means our Fire type should be shine. Water types will be in for a long, hard battle, though. Yeah, we don't have water types, though, so it's good for us. Yes, calling reinforcements. I know we're going to leave a uh, empty castle, but it will be fine. We're going to get a bunch of recruits here. And then hopefully we can get our boy... What's his name? Riku. Riku. His Pan Sage. Hmm. You're the new Warlord of Aurora, aren't you? I've heard a lot about you, but I didn't expect you to be this young. I suppose you need a bit of youthful energy in this rough old world. Maybe it's time for my generation to call it a day. Lord Monetary, you can't. How can you say such a thing? Our army will fall apart without your wisdom, Lord Mo Motonari. Whew. No rest for the wicked, eh? I suppose I better do what's expected of me. Go to war! Joe's army versus Motonari. I'll show you what I'm made of again and 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 again. Hell yeah. Alright, so let's try to take out that Snivy with our Eevee. And maybe we can get Montanari on our side. What do you think it takes to win battles, Joe? You're thinking strength, right? But strength alone is not enough. Do you understand what I'm saying? Doing battles is, just, is not just about defeating your enemies. Stop. Stop on the top of the banner to claim the banner for Joe's army. You must claim all banners to win. Alright, let's go ahead and go this way. So, strategy basically is all fire types to the left and normal types to the right. So, let's go ahead and do that. Sorry, the game's kind of laggy. Emulators, am I right? Oh, and look at this. We found a grass patch. Oh no, we fell! But we came back up. Alright, so there's a little vine bridge now. Let's see if they take that. I'll do my very best I can. Oh, he takes the vine bridge. So we're splitting up and going after those banners, right? Alright, Lord Joe, we won't let you down. Damn right you won't, because I'm controlling you. I I'll try to win, I promise. Alright, let's see. Montanari goes down to the grassy part like I thought he would. And Pansage is going to follow his little buddy over there. 
So we can go for a straight shot this way. Daromaka can come over here. And I guess I'll have Jigglypuff follow suit. I'll have Charmander take this banner. So at least we have one So for now. Your HP will be restored when you stop at the top of a banner. And I'll send Tepic here. Excuse me, sorry. So much burping. I promise in the next episode I won't be so gross. Oh no, they claimed the banner! So we're tied at one banner each. Alright, so we have... What's that thing's name? Sawaddle? Sawaddle has... A very bad disadvantage against my Pokemon. So let's see if we can actually hit it from here. And we can. 29 damage. Four times effective. You're weak. Grass Cloak. It's defense raises. Ooh, and we still did 31 damage. Wonderful. All right, we're going to have... Uh, We're going to have Charmander go over there to help get a little bit of chip damage off on our opponent over here. And we'll have Tepig to get some damage on this thing. Again, a four times effective move, not taking it on in one shot. Our Pokemon seem to be pretty weak right now. Motoharu. Takage gets that attack boost. Oh, and that bug bite does some damage. Not quite enough to cause any too much harm, but it did some. Sorry, I didn't read that at all. Something about peace in the day in the old days or whatever. But alright. Let's go ahead and give Charmander some Ship damage here. Because we're going to need it. And I think Eevee should be able to take it out from here. Well, not here, but you know. The next two turns, it'll do enough damage. Oh, I guess not. I guess another turn for it. But it won't be too bad. Jesus Christ, the music in this game is so slow. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and take out this Sawaddle over here. Run up. Grass Cloak, but it's not going to do enough. All right, cool. We take down something with Dairamaka. And we're going to keep hitting this thing. This should take it out here. It said it does 21 damage. Oh, and it did just enough with 20. So Tepe goes ahead and take that thing down. How about this? Uh-oh, his defense raised. It's not good. He's got an attack raise and a defense raise. Bringing me flashbacks from my draft league battle. Alright, so he's talking crap about being so great with uh, grass types. And the vine bridge goes away. I guess it's the London Bridge because it's falling down. Oh man, we're not going to take this thing down in enough hits. Let's go ahead and steal that there. And let's make our way this way. You know what? Let's, let's do this. The flower will let us know which way we're going. And I guess it's going towards the Pan Sage. Clearly, Tepig needs the help. Ooh, and we get the burn. 
Even better for us. It does heal up, but the burn will take care of that damage right there. Alright. So Snivy still, you know, still living. Doing the damage. Bridge is back. Let's take this thing down. Get a crit. Do something. Oh, nope. Seven damage. Alright, we can ignore all those moves right there. Come over here. Wait there. Attack here. And everyone else can just chill out. Super effective hit. Alright, now we can end our turn. Alright guys, we are on our way to beat this thing. So he kind of just sits there. He gives us another attack. Which is, you know, all he can really do. And the vine bridge goes away again. Alright, let's see. Can we take it out now? We should. Snivy goes down. Beautiful. And we celebrate so we can move again. And we'll take that. We take those. Alright, now we're going to come back over here because those two can't really do much. Um, Charmander, you're going to take that. And we're going to knock this thing out. And then one more move, and we take over Greenleaf. Yes! So, in this turn. Oh, man. This, gra this vine bridge is annoying. Alright, no matter how much significant range, we're not going to make it all the way across the map. So let's get Charmander to get this gold or item. Ooh, 120 gold. That's amazing. And then let's go ahead and get this Tepic here. And we claim our banners. Oh, I think we've won. What a relief. Victory! Alright, so our people strengthen up. We got everyone but Snivy. Which is fine. I knew the day would finally come when I'd face defeat on my own battlefield. Lord Montanari! Surely now I can be left in peace. You are more worthy, Warlord, for Greenleaf than I, Joe. I ask only you take good care of my beloved kingdom. And he is out of here! <clears throat> so we are going to recruit all these guys. We're going to get them linked up with exactly the Pokemon they need to be. Alright, get them all linked up over here. And we're good to go. I will figure out what Pokemon they need to be linked up with. And then get them on their merry way to where they need to go. Alright, all our warriors have finished up. Moto Chica. Um, let's see. We already have a few people marked down with the Pokemon they need. So Darumaka stays here so he can get a Pan Sage. Um, Heidi Yoki doesn't need a Pokemon yet. And let's see. I had you somewhere. Where's that first guy? Okay. Takatora needs a Pokemon from Ignis. So let's go ahead and move you. Over there, because that's where Litwicks are found commonly. Darumaka stays here. Um... Now, let's go ahead and check you guys out and see what y'all have. Okay, Matahoro. Matoharo. Haru. Eh, I'm getting it. Uh, 
I'll figure y'all out and mention it on the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. Please leave a follow. I mean, sorry. I'm used to doing my Facebook Live stuff. You're watching this here on YouTube, so please leave a like, subscribe, and check out the descriptions and the link. Check out the links in the description below. Jesus Christ. And I will see you guys next time.